Okay, so I thought a cool video to make today would be uh, talking about just some of my morning daily activities and, uh, and we're going to talk about cores, engine cores. So um, I've got some engine core stuff to look at that I'm going through. Um, I guess I'll start with um, what I consider to be a, a decent core. Um, so uh, it's actually kind of an interesting one. So this is a uh, this is a high mileage R35. Uh, this is uh, about 120,000 miles original. Uh, so you can see that this is a good core. Now this one didn't have knocking or anything like that. It had um, it just had low compression on. Uh, on uh, bank uh, bank one, uh, basically the gate was slow acting, and uh, it just kind of cooked the exhaust valves on that side, and it didn't cook them bad. You know, um, you can see the liners there still have cross hatch, and we still got our our plasma coating. You know, so I mean those will take a hone. Um, you know, the uh, exhaust valves over here got smoked a little bit so you know they're going to touch up those seats you know and have those things uh, rebuilt um, so that's what i consider to be like a very rare um you know high mileage core for a gtr you know i mean basically like if you if you smoke a head gasket or you um or you start getting into that liner it's it's like taking a a, a torch to you know uh you know aluminum so you know it's not going to be usable so pretty much like if anything happens to those liners so just know that whenever you're sending a core to get it rebuilt or something um that you know you need to have a usable core let me show you an unusable core so that's a that's a quote somewhat worn out but good fluids and just high mileage and um, a slight mechanical gate failure that you know caused a low compression on one bank so um, I'm gonna go over here to a uh, I got a unusable core I've got um, uh, a quote a built motor so we'll talk about that um, so if you're sending a core to somebody to have them rebuild it, you know, the most important things is the, you know, for the VQ37s and the 35s and VR38s is the, the liners and the crank itself, you know. I mean, most of the time we're changing the slugs and everything else, but, um, you know, unless you're going to, you know, like a, uh, a Darton block or, you know, some CSS stuff or, um, you know, uh, you know, name your, your, your block sleeving, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck with the factory liners to an extent. So, um, never send something like this. If you smoked your motor, it's like, you know, now your crank, all this metal has gone through everything. It's like, there's, there's nothing like people would say, well, maybe you could use the head. What do, why would you want to use the heads? You've run metal through everything. It's like every single one of your cam journals, lifter, all that stuff is just basically, you know, worn now with all this metal debris. So, you know, I mean, even if the heads are hypothetically like, okay, it's like, I wouldn't want to use any of that stuff. So, you know, if you're sending a core to somebody to build, you know, one of the, uh, another good thing that you can do is you can do like this guy, like, I don't know where this engine came from, um, but like visually and externally so far, just from checking it out, I got to tear it down and look at it. Uh, but this is, this is a, a solid core. Um, you know, uh, you don't see any broken connectors on this thing. These guys wrote down their compression numbers. So this is like a very legitimate, uh, VQ 37 right here. You know, just other telltale indicators is you don't see any, um, any white coolant chalky stuff. I mean, look at, it's just, it's got some dust. It's got some oil on it, you know, but I mean like oil vapor, you know, this is the type of engine set that you want somebody that actually didn't destroy your VVEL sensors, you know, or removed them. I hate it when these guys cannibalize all these small components and parts off these engines is they're never going to make any money off of it. It's almost certain. Um, but yeah, this one, let's see, take a look at our dipstick. Amazing, amazing sheen to it. So, um, yeah, this is a hundred percent. When I tear this down, it's going to be a beautiful engine, but yeah, that's what you want. You want to have a, a really solid, pretty engine because you're going to build a forged internal piece that you want to be racing and, um, you know, you're going to be out there running this car all the time. And it's like, why would you start with a trashed engine? Um, so here's another one. It's a quote unquote build engine. Um, you know, there's a lot of people. I don't know who built it, but um, we'll just look at some of the first things that I saw. So the VTC hydraulic lockup shafts with the single dynamic seal, 
they've completely chewed into the the hydraulic shaft themselves so that's going to prevent lock up with the cam um, inside of the sprockets have massive grooving from um, you know that uh, you know and then that ran metal through everything you know crazy stuff like well, what bolt is that I don't know you know so uh, you know the, the guts inside old one new look at this and it's like bro you know and you you gave that to somebody so um you know you got to really pick who's building your your engines you know i mean just this rookie stuff it's like you reuse those you know okay um guarantee there's no loctite on any of it you know um reusing you know front seals rear old rear seals you know a lot of these guys that are, you know, pulling these scams are just cleaning up all these parts and they have, you know, crazy drug habits and stuff. So you really need to pick who's, you know, putting your uh, putting your engines together. Stock oil pump, you know, it's supposed to be for a twin turbo build, I believe. Um, but, yeah, you need to have the, you know, preferably the same machine shop is building your engine, if that's even possible. Or just run the same shop that's doing all the work. But um, make sure that you've talked to other people and you're not just, you know, going off of what this guy says or uh, an amazing price. This isn't supposed to be cheap. So just keep that in mind, guys.